A Cape Town man, dubbed the station strangler, has been released from prison into the care of a relative this week. Norman Simons, who is a former school teacher, was convicted for the murder of 10-year-old Elroy van Rooyen in 1995. Newsroom Africa's Adim Tongana is live from Paro as we track reaction from that community. Ati, good to catch up with you this afternoon. Just give us some insights into this reaction. It's been 28 years since the conviction of the station strangler. Yes, so Norman Simons is a, probably about 54 years old. Um, of course, he has spent most of his time behind bars. He was convicted for the murder of a 10-year-old boy, Elroy Van Royen, in Mitchell's Plain. I can tell you the community there is up in arms over his release this week. They had an engagement with a correctional services, and even there, I mean, there's nothing they can do because at this stage, he has served his time and he is going to be released. Well, he has been released and he is staying with a relative in another community, which is Paro. Now, this community is obviously uh, just like Mitchell's Plain, where 10 year old Elroy van Royen was murdered. Uh, they are also very much up in arms, concerned and worried about the safety of children. I can tell you there are children around me uh, playing around in the streets and parents here are as worried as those in Mitchell's Plain. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I just want to get a sense from you because there was a community engagement um, in Mitchell's Plain and other several organizations which were not happy about this man's release. How does it make you feel thinking about some of the crimes that he was linked to? <laughs> It's okay, Mummy. We spoke about this. You can feel comfortable to speak in your language. Come closer. Come closer. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're just expressing how you are feeling as a community. And remember, like we spoke, Yegan Afrikaans now, I just want to bring in someone very young, younger people. It's okay. I, I see the, 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 the residents here. Is there anyone younger that wants to speak to us? This is something that is going to affect you if anything happens. This is why you must feel comfortable to speak. I mean, at the time, obviously the older generation, because this crime happened in 1994, but as a younger generation, when you hear about someone that has been linked to these crimes, that is coming back into your community, how does that make you feel as a young person? And remember, yay, can Afrikaans right? feel very comfortable to speak. I just want to say, why would they let such a guy out of prison. I got two kids. He can take one of my kids also. Such a man must rot in jail. He must die. What are the kids saying as they hear, hear this? The kids, my kids will be scared. Any kids will be scared of such a man. They don't even want to play outside. They don't want to play by the parky. So why can't our children be safe outside? They must play by the parky because they kids. So why can't our kids play outside and be safe outside? Because the thing is, you also don't know how he looks like. Isn't that also a risk? That's a big risk because none of us know that guy. Oh, my kids don't know how that guy looks. Big, big people, auntie, some men don't even know how that guy looks. Do you believe that he's been helped in prison, like he's been rehabilitated? And 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 now they have a cure, come and say, I won't only miss a cut and a dunny. But what? Has done to buy the woman with TV. Then with Rasta and with Prello open. Come and say, I'm a tire, let's say, I just quote them here. Make a bag of the club on here and Peru. As a Ricky. And as soon now, and Oscar's. 
onze kinderen dus, jammer op dat je onze kinderen dus bij je iets geëet voor chips en voor lekkers. Want dan hebben we enig jene gejaald, voor enig jene wat hulle gejaald. Dat is die regie. Als bij je verkeerd, hoe kost het die man hier nie? Hulle moet om daar gepleit en die met z'n spleen. Nou, hulle het nou, hulle het nou rustig, nou wil ons hier, van ja, dit moet ons nou waar, die wil ons een kind is. Is not right. Thank you so much okay. for your time. Bye, 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 thank you. So, well, that is the reaction that you're receiving from residents here in Paro, asking why are they bringing this man to this community, uh, given what he was convicted over, and they don't believe that he has been rehabilitated uh, behind bars at the correctional services in prison. They fear for their children. They say that obviously because of security protocols, the Department of Correctional Services has not released the exact exact house where he will be living but they know he will be around here in Paro. They don't even know how he looks because the Department of Correctional Services also has not released any recent images of him so they don't know how he looks. They ask him why bring this man here? Perhaps why not even take him to Mitchell's Plain where this uh, ordeal uh, is linked but of course the residents here in a nutshell are not happy. Now, so we did know and you talked about it that the Correctional services approached the, in fact, they courted the residents of uh, Mitchell's Plain. Uh, and obviously that's where the, the crime took place from, from what we understand. But let's talk about the residents of Paro, the community of Paro. Were they engaged by the correctional services prior to Simon's being released into their own community? Uh, let me just turn back to the community and go back and ask them, did the Department of Correctional Services, we know there was an engagement, uh, did it involve the people of Mitchell's Plain where they were talking about his release? Were you informed by government or uh, the Department of Correctional Services about this man coming to your community? Did I tell you? He must stay in Mitchell's Plain. That's what this resident is saying, of course, as residents of Paro, where this man has been released to, to a relative. They have not been informed of his stay in the community, and that is why they're fearing for their children. Hugo. I appreciate your time coming to us from Cape Town, where the station strangler has been released into the care of a relative in Paro.